First meteorologist Rachel Garceau with your Idaho News 6 forecast. Well, the good news with this dry and kind of stagnant weather pattern is that if you want to wash the car or need to wash the car like yours truly, you are good to go in my washer weight forecast. We have dry, sunny conditions in store at least through Saturday. We may have some clouds coming in on Sunday and some parts of our viewing area may see a shower on Sunday, but I think for the most part, the Treasure Valley remains very dry, very predictable for the next week, potentially even the next eight to nine nine days we will see this weather pattern holding steady. So very stagnant conditions. That's why we have this air stagnation advisory in effect from now through at least Saturday morning. There is a system that will come in late Saturday into Sunday that may flatten out that ridge just a little bit. The most I think we'll see here in the valley is maybe some clouds coming in. I'll talk a little bit more about where some precipitation may pop up on Sunday. Then you can see in our 10 day weather trend, we have to go all the way out to next Friday and into Saturday to see any chance of precipitation and changing temperatures that may be enough to finally kind of knock out the inversion, get rid of the uh, poor air quality that is likely to develop next week. We're seeing air quality slightly diminished this morning, courtesy again of this big ridge of high pressure. Here's our jet stream right now. We see a system uh, setting a few light showers onto the west coast. Most of this will ride up and over that ridge of high pressure. It's this one right here that we're watching a little more closely. I'll start our future cast all the way on Saturday morning. No change, clear skies, cold mornings, cool afternoons here in the Treasure Valley, but by late Saturday to the very early morning hours of Sunday, this cold front and associated precipitation is on the move. So by early Sunday morning, there's a potential for eastern Oregon maybe to see a couple of showers. The blues may see some snow, but the most models show that uh, rounded precipitation really breaking apart as it moves into the gem state. Wouldn't rule out the possibility of a shower completely, maybe in some of our west central mountain locations, a snow flurry or two, but the long term trend shows that we will be much drier than average for the first week, week and a half of the month of December. That does mean beautifully sunny afternoons, though. Highs today right about where they should be for early December, about 40 to 42 across the Treasure Valley. We hit 47 in Boise yesterday. I don't know that we'll be that warm today, but still pretty pleasant after our very cold morning. 33 in McCall with mostly sunny skies. Some fog is possible in some of our more sheltered mountain valleys this morning. I'm not seeing any areas of reduced visibility yet, but that is a possibility each and every morning. We do have enough moisture in the air uh, with this system in place, so we could see some fog coming and going. 31 for Stanley today, up near 40 in Sun Valley. 41 for Twin Falls, Shoshone, and Burley with tons of sunshine in the Magic Valley. Very cold this morning, single day digit wind chills in Twin Falls, but then a pretty pleasant afternoon. And we are nothing if not consistent, right? For the rest of the week, highs hover right around that 40 degree mark from now all the way through the middle of next week. Cold mornings with those temperatures down around 20 every day we wake up.